Hi guys, so the video that you're about to watch is pretty old. I'd say about two months. It was filmed before I got married, before I went on my honeymoon, before I chopped all of my hair off. There's no excuse except I just kind of kept pushing it off and forgetting about it. And now I have a notification that my fall cause box, so fall 2019 cause box, is gonna get here on the 24th. And if that box gets here before I post the unboxing from summer, it's embarrassing. So I think, I mean, I'm pretty embarrassed anyway. So that was the disclaimer. It's September. I got the box in like May or June. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hope that you enjoy the video anyway. That's the back of the box. I picked it up all dramatically just to show you the back of the box. My address is on there. Let's try that again. I thought it would be cool to do a summer cause box unboxing. This is the box for summer 2019. I did get the box for spring 2019, so the last box, and I unboxed it on camera, and then my external hard drive died before I had a chance to back everything up. I lost that in a couple of episodes of my podcast, the Poetry Prompt podcast. It's fine, I did get the spring box and I absolutely loved it. I purchased myself an annual subscription. So each box is about $50. It's gonna be a little bit less than that if you do the annual subscription. You get over $300 worth of stuff in every box. So the idea is that you are getting a sphere discount on everything because you get to test out products, you'll learn about brands and stuff. But the reason why I support Cause box, or at least this year I've decided to support them, is because all of the brands that they work with are either a nonprofit or they're women owned or they are somehow doing very intentional work and they are sustainable or otherwise very intentional with the ways that they create the products. If you get the subscription, you know that, you know, they have pretty tissue paper and a nice sticker that you can see right there. Uh, very nice sticker that I did rip. I wanted a bag like this, and so when I found out that I was gonna get one in this subscription box, I was very excited. This to me is the equivalent of the portfolio that was in the spring box, where I would have paid $50 just for that portfolio. I don't know if I would have paid $50 specifically for this bag uh, if I just saw it in the store, but this is one of the items that I'm most excited about. On the inside of the bag, you can see that it says Altru made for good. The tassels came in a little pouch that I think I've already recycled that was on the inside of the bag, but it's pretty spacious. I'm really itching to use the stuff. The spring box, especially the skincare, was so good. While I said I was most excited about the portfolio, that's actually the item that I think I've gotten the least amount of use out of, whereas I've used everything else so much, which doesn't mean that I didn't use the portfolio. It just means that the stuff was genuinely so good and I was so excited about it. So I'm excited about this because I think it'll be similar where I'm very excited about this, but I'll end up using everything even more than I thought I would. You can tell that I've uh, used these already because uh, this white one has some hair on it. I wore it to the pool and then jumped in um, while wearing it. And so I got it wet and then I had to dry it, but it dried fine. So there's a water test for you. How many of the subscription box unboxings are you gonna watch that do real water tests? A. Wow. Cool thing about these scrunchies, fun fact, is they are made in Franklin, Tennessee. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, which is not close to Franklin, but Franklin is close to Nashville, which is where I'm getting married. So, small connection to the founder of this banded. But I was so excited about these scrunchies. So you got the same color no matter what you picked if you were part of the annual subscription. And what I ended up doing was using these scrunchies to help make my color decisions for the things that I was able to choose which I think there were only two things, but I absolutely love these kind of sunsetty colors. I've already worn the white, like I said, and I have been very interested in yellow this summer, and I think that must be my brain getting affected by the things that I see on Instagram because I've never liked yellow before, and I'm very, very interested in yellow this summer. And then there's just like a blush pink, which is useful all year round. So I am very excited for every one product you buy, you feed three children. Yeah, every product purchase provides three meals for a child in need that's even better. Why is that better? Because it's more than, no. So the next item that I do not believe had any wrapping around it when it came in initially is this, wow, my hair is all over this box, but this 
waterproof bag that says today is a good day. I was particularly excited about this because my partner and I are going to go be going on our honeymoon to Ecuador and the Galapagos in a few weeks, which means bathing suits all the time. Uh, Tony, my partner, was not convinced that this was actually waterproof when we initially opened the bag because it looks like it's got these two little holes. It's got these two little holes that you can kind of see, uh, but the way the zipper works, it ends before the holes happen. So it is genuinely waterproof. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like on the inside and it's just this vinyl-y waterproof material. Like I said, I kind of used the scrunchies to determine which one of these I wanted because I did think the blue one with the seashells was cute, but I kind of wanted the whole box to have a similar vibe. I'm probably gonna butcher this label, but Quagga? Maybe? Quagga Green Label. Something else that excited both me and Tony that were, was in here is the uh, Reef Safe Sunscreen from All Good. It's Reef Friendly Sport Sunscreen. It's SPF 30, which when I can convince him to put on sunscreen, we do support Reef Safe Sunscreen. And I think that it's a requirement for Ecuador. Like they may actually open our bags and look and make sure, or maybe it's the Galapagos, maybe both, but they're gonna make sure that our sunscreen is reef safe because the reefs are already dying and we don't need to be wearing sunscreen. That's just gonna keep hurting them. It's right here. It's not perfect, you know? It could have blended in a little faster. It's not quite as fast as like the Neutrogena stuff that you can wear on your face, which I believe may be sun, sun safe. It's sunscreen, it's gonna be sun safe, reef safe anyway. It smells just an itty bitty bit plasticky but it doesn't smell like normal sunscreen. But I don't think that if you're sensitive to smell, this will bother you. They have the postcard that I have sitting on my desk from the spring box. I really love the postcards. It's the same artist that does the box, I believe. I'll have to double check with the booklet to make sure. I think it was definitely last time. I realized that with these postcards, I should be sending them to people to encourage them to get cause box. It's probably why they're in there, but I just think it's so cute and summery and it looks good on my desk, so why not? Why not keep it? Well, I guess we'll do this guy since I am so excited to use it. So this is a reduced insulated tumbler. It's a dual wall stainless steel, stainless steel. Wow. It's a dual wall stainless steel and the lid is included, which is very kind. It would have been silly for them not to include the lid, um, but the lid is just like kind of a coffee lid. It's got a hole. And sadly, I am one of those people that will get a headache if I do not get my coffee early enough in the morning. I've tried to cut back in I think February of last year, I took time off of coffee, about a month. Wasn't good for me. Was not a nice person. I am an addict, I admit it, but it's so good. Second to last, we have a Hanalei? Hanalei? I was able to choose between a powder cleanser and this uh, aloe gel, and I figured that since Tony and I were going to Ecuador and the Galapagos, it would be good for me to have um, like a face cooling mask thing with aloe in it on that trip because no matter how much sunscreen I put on my face, I'm gonna feel a little burned even if I don't actually get burned, and so something like this will be very useful. And honestly, the powder cleanser stuff, I was nervous the texture wasn't going to be very good. I really like the packaging on this. It's this really pretty, is this mint green? Maybe it's close to mint green. And pink with these leaves on it. And I just think that's so cute. Last but not least, we have this, let me put the box down. We have this poncho thing. I think they were calling it a beach cover up, but this is from the brand. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to open it since I don't know where the box is where the booklet went. This is from the brand Tribe Alive. I got the one that is similar colors to the scrunchies again and similar colors to the waterproof bag. I, like I said, I wanted the whole box to have this, a similar vibe. Um, and I am just kind of feeling these colors for Ecuador and the Galapagos. And it's got these like tassely bits on the ends that are pretty cute and nice. Um, but you can also, Oh wow, I look a little boxy. I feel like this might be just a, t 
This might be just a tad boxy uh, for me to want to wear it like this, but who knows, the sun, you know, it protects my shoulders from the sun, so that could be really useful. Um, but the pictures that they have on Instagram, they have it wrapped around their waist like a blanket or a towel um, and stuff as well. Would I have paid $50 for all the stuff added together separately? Probably, especially with something like the sunscreen, which I think can be like $20 if it's reef safe. And then the steel cup, you know, and then this, I don't even know how much this would have been worth, but I am gonna go try to find the, oh wow, kicking everything. I'm gonna go try to find the booklet and I will be right back to let you know what the deal is with all of these companies. Hi again, everybody. So it turns out that I misplaced the little booklet. I apologize. As a way to make it up to you, I'm gonna show you the two things that I bought with the coupons that were in the back of the booklet. So when you buy a cause box and you get the aforementioned multiple times booklet that I have lost, <laughs> there are coupons in the back and it's usually pretty good. It's something like 20% off, occasionally 50% off your whole purchase. And so I, was particularly attracted to the the banded the scrunchies because the woman is from the same state that I'm from um, but also because when I was looking on the website because I check all of them there were a couple of things that I specifically wanted for the Ecuador trip one was a hat which is gonna make me really look like I'm from Tennessee probably but uh, it's on the list of things that you're supposed to buy for Ecuador or the Galapagos one of those two possibly both um, and so I picked this up. I think it was about $20, but knowing that it's an ethical brand and that every purchase feeds, provides three meals to a child, like I would much rather buy this hat than pick one up for something really cheap at Dollar Tree or something where I don't know where those came from. And then I also picked up this head wrap. Overall, I love this box. I don't know if I'm excited, as excited about it as I was the spring box, but I think that portfolio just really did it for me. But I am very, very excited about the timeliness of this, which makes sense. It's a summer box, but the fact that I'm about to go on my honeymoon and I can literally bring all of this stuff with me and it makes sense is very exciting. Hey guys, my card died, which is a super rookie mistake. So I'm coming at you from the front facing camera on my iPhone back to the vlogs. Basically everything added up to just a little under $300. I will double check all of that math and put the correct number on screen. I'm excited for the fall, but I'm even more excited to use all of this stuff now that I have finally unboxed it on screen for you guys. I wish I could tell you what kind of stuff I wanted to be making on this channel, but I'm just kind of making what I feel like making when I want to, and I think that's just gonna be how I roll. Hopefully that's cool. If you like this kind of content though, give me a thumbs up because that way I know. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. And if you have any su suggestions for something that you think that I might like to film for you guys, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.